In ClickView and Printing, you can use time-based triggers and event-based triggers. For example, you can generate reports only when a specific event has happened in the data, or when a specific data condition is satisfied. In this case, we're going to create a sales report, which will be delivered to salesmen only if their sales have exceeded a specific value in a given period. First, we'll create the report, and then we'll apply the condition to the report. We can then create a task, which will deliver the reports to a recipient-specific directory. Then we'll select the report we want to attach and the recipients we want to send the report to. So when we run the task, you can see that in the output folder, we have an empty folder for recipients that have not met the specific condition. While if we open folders of recipients who have reached the condition, we'll find a report. We can add as many conditions to our reports as we like. For instance, we can add a condition which will only run the end printing report if the data has been reloaded. This condition compares a date to the value of a variable in ClickView. We can apply this condition to the report we selected before. When we're done, we can schedule the report to be run weekly. So we can use the previously created task and create a job that contains it. A job can contain a list of tasks which run sequentially in the order you select. In this case, we select the reload ClickView document task followed by the report task. Since the report is generated only if the ClickView document has been reloaded, we are always sure that recipients can see the most recent data. And that concludes this video. Thanks for watching.